Hi, welcome to Ohio Hobbies. It's the weekend, and it's time for another penny box hunt. We got this box from PNC. This is a sneak peek preview box. We're going to get started on it. And I already seen back here this roll right here. We have a Canadian Ender. So I think the best thing we can do is take a look at this roll live. All right. what we got going on. This looks interesting. <laughs> Absolutely. We might have a Canadian dump here. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. 1957. Young head, the nineteen sixty young head. We have a nineteen ninety two. Here's an eighty three, an eighty four. Wow, a nineteen sixty five, nineteen ninety eight. A 2000. Go to a 1966. 1964. That's a 1990. Not sure why that one snuck in there. We have a 1968. 1989. Another 89, 1961, a 64, a couple more young heads, absolutely. A 1969, a 68, that is a 65, another 69, that's a 2014. A 1964, another young head. 83. Another young head. 58. Oh, this one is dirty. It's a 1999. Here's a 77. We got another shield scent here. A 77. There's a 77 Canadian. 1999, 1961, another young head. This is absolutely unbelievable. 1968, there's an 82, an 81, a couple coppers in here. Let's see, a 63, a 53. A 91, a 74, another 66, 72, a 1964, another young head, here's another one, 1962, 1984, 1982, 1996, and a 1979. Absolutely unbelievable. 40. Canadian coins and the majority of those have to be young heads that is absolutely ridiculous somebody wanted to dump a lot of Canadians 
Absolutely amazing. That is a Canadian invasion right there. First roll out of the box from PNC. All right, well, let's see what the rest of these customer wraps have in them. I'll get back to you as soon as we find something. We're going to go right to this next one right here. All right, we are on that second roll now. And hiding down here is another Canadian, a 1984. We're going to add it to these giant stacks right there. Back to searching. All right, we are in roll number seven of PNC, the customer wrapped end. And we have ourselves a 2001 Canadian to add to the mountain that's growing. All right, back to the search. All right, this happens to be roll number 10. And right here, we come across another Canadian, 2003. We're headed to the bottom here. Mm, nothing in the weedy column though. It's looking a little sad. Hopefully things will change. All right, I'll get back to the search and I'll let you know. Okay, we made it to roll number 11. It is the last roll of the customer wrapped. And finally, falling down here flat, we have a 1956D, the first weedy of the box. It's pretty nasty looking, but it's finally a weedy. We're putting it on the board. Back to the search. All right, well, we ran into a bit of an issue with this box. We had uh, like 15 rolls of 2018 uncirculated. Uh, I did open up a couple of them just to see what was going on in them. Uh, they aren't in the best condition, but they're uncirculated, brand new rolls. Uh, Philadelphia must not have done too good of a job with their uh, processing. They look pretty rough for being uncirculated. But anyway, uh, having got to that, uh, we have uh, right here another Canadian. And it is a 1979. That works for me. That's my birth year. Uh, we will go ahead and add it to this giant stack already here of Canadians. And we will get back to the search. All right. This happens to be roll number 37. And we find ourselves once again another Canadian. 1999 this time. We'll add it to the collection. Still just one weedy. We're hoping to find some more. I hate to get skunk with just one. But we're going to get back to the search. I'll loop you in if anything else comes up. All right, here we are. This is roll number 40. And right here in the front, we have another Canadian. And it is a 1981. We'll add it to the giant stack. And we're going to get back to the search. All right. We're about to look at uh, roll number 42 here. And right there, hanging out, is another Canadian. 1987. And we're going to add it to the stack, which... I changed up a little bit here. If I can get them to stop falling. I made them in the stacks of 10. So we're sitting currently at 47 Canadian coins. Of course, we gotta remember 40 of them come out of that first roll. But seven Canadians and the rest of the box. And still, right there. One lonely weedy. Oh, we got to get more than one. All right.
back to the search. Alright, I just opened roll number 43, and it absolutely exploded. Half of them fell on the floor. But then, I noticed, sitting right there, a 56D. Finally, finally, we have our second Weedy of the box. We got two. Doing a little bit better. I'd be happy with at least three. We'll see how it goes. Back to searching the explosion. All right, we only have five rolls left in the box. And we have another weedy. Seems like we might be picking up some steam here towards the end. This one we get to reveal together. Looks like it could be fairly new. 1948. 350. We'll take it. And that's our third weedy of the box. All right. Back to the search. All right. That is the end of the PNC box. And we already looked at the 47 Canadians. Uh, the three weedies. The 48. The 56. And 56. Both out of Denver. We ended up with... 11 of the 2009s. We got two S mints in that box. A 74 and a 70. Of course, a stack of 79s. Birth year for me. 69s, no S mints. Uh, 1960s, I'll search later for small dates. Uh, we have six of the 1959s. We have two that I pulled out. They are off strikes. Uh, they're slightly off centered. Very thin on the left, very thick on the right, both of them. Uh, the one, this one here is a 1985. It's a little worse than the other one as far as the off center strike. Uh, then this here is 18. Whoops, we got one sneaking in there. Let's make that 17. 1974, Philadelphia. Look brand new. They pretty much all look AU. So I pulled them all out. And then apparently this one here was a 1988 that snuck in there that I didn't notice until just now. But that was our haul for this box. I got a few more hiding over there to go through. So we'll take a look at those. As soon as we get an opportunity, we'll get another one posted. Another one searched. But for now, if you like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification. And every time I put up a video, you'll get the chance to see it. All right. Time to get your hobby on.